Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today I'm going to talk about crossover cable. This is uh, in reference to Cisco uh, router basics. Uh, we can't uh, connect two routers together uh, with an Ethernet cable unless we use a crossover cable. I'll talk to you, I'll try to explain what that means. Uh, here we've got uh, from Packet Tracer uh, four routers. Two of them are connected with what's called a straight through Ethernet cable. The bottom two are connected with what's called a crossover cable. I've uh, turned these ports on just to show you that uh, we can connect using a crossover cable between two routers and we can transfer packets uh, from one router to the other only using a crossover cable. If we use what's called a straight through cable or a patch ethernet cable between those two ethernet ports, uh, we will not get packets uh, transferred across. What we have to do is create or buy a crossover cable. Crossover cables are fairly easy to create. I'll show you what you need to do. Uh, this is a typical, on the left side here, a typical straight through cable where pin one is also connected to pin one on the other side of the cable. Uh, pin two, pin three, pin four, five, six, seven, and eight. They're all connected, what's called straight through. So pin one on one PC side would be pin one on the other CC. PC side. You can see though we have uh, two wires that we use for transmit of the packets and two wires uh, for the receive. The first two, one and two, are normally reserved for transmit and then three and six uh, for the receive. Now coming over here you can see on the other side of this cable if we connect this to a hub, the hub or a switch is automatically going to transfer our transmit side to the receive side. So that's internally done if you're connecting to a switch or a hub but if you want to connect, if you want to create a crossover cable we can do that uh, in the in the in the connectors or in the ends of the cable we can take the one and two and tr and move them over to three and six we can actually create the cable or we terminate the ends of the cable on with an rj45 connector and again we want to take the three and six which are normally received and we move them up to one and two which would be the transmit uh, one and two on that PC side. So using uh, two PCs, we could use a crossover cable to get them to be able to transfer files from one PC to the other. Uh, same thing uh, with the with the router. The router is nothing more than uh, really a PC that is specially designed with more than one uh, port for transmitting very efficiently packets uh, from one port to another port. So here again, you can see one and two. Uh, we have turn those or cross those over uh, on the different RJ45 connector on the other side to 3 and 6 and we've taken 3 and 6 and moved them up to 1 and 2. Got another diagram that kind of explains this. Uh, you can see we're using uh, what's called the 568B uh, wiring scheme for the termination of this plug and you'll see that on a lot of your patch cables where we have this 568B uh, on both sides of the cable and it starts off with uh, white and orange and then a solid orange and again uh, with the crossover we're going to move that down to uh, three and six and then we're going to take three and six and move them up to one and two so we get the transmit coming over uh, to the receive side and then the receive side going up to the transmit otherwise the, the uh, if we don't use a crossover between two pcs or two routers uh, we will not be able to transfer the packets. Uh, here's a, the RJ45. If you if you look down into the RJ45, looking from the top down, uh, we start off with pin one on the left side, going to pin eight. Uh, normally, uh, it'll start off with the white and orange, and then the solid orange, and then we're going to move those to three and six. So three becomes that white and orange, and then six becomes the solid orange. And then we take three and six on this side, the white and green and green, and move them over to uh, the one and two place. And that creates the crossover cable. Uh, looking at it again, uh, we have these two wiring schemes, the 568A and the T568B. The A begins uh, with the white and green and then green, and the, and the B begins with the white and orange and orange. So if you terminate uh, either side of the cables, one with the A, configuration one with the B configuration you'll end up with a crossover cable so they've already come up with a wiring scheme this T568 A and the 568B to, to create this 
Uh, also, you can look at uh, some plugs here uh, straight down. You can see on the B side, we again, we have the white and orange and the solid orange. And then we have the white and green and the solid green and the three and six. And again, on a straight three, you'll have this on both sides. You'll uh, terminate the other side with the white and orange and the solid orange. And then again, you'll uh, have just the same coloring scheme, uh, the white and green for th uh, pin three and the solid green. Uh, for pin six. You can see we've never moved. We also have a blue and white and a brown and white and a solid brown and a solid blue. Those never move. And then on the A side, again, we start off with the white and green instead of the white and orange, solid green. And then in the three and six, we have the orange. So the B is uh, terminated a little differently uh, than the A. Uh, you can again create uh, a B on both sides or an A on both sides for a straight through cable. <clears throat> Most of the patch cables you'll see follow this B configuration. But again, if you put the A on one side and the B on the other side, you create what's called a crossover cable. By, by all we're doing is swapping one and two uh, with three and six. Again, here's the uh, pin configurations again with the wires starting off with the white and orange. On the, on the B side, and then white and green on the A side. Again, all we're doing is swapping uh, one and two with three and six to create what we call a crossover cable. We need this uh, if we want to connect two PCs together and be able to transfer files or two routers. Primarily, this is for two routers. Uh, again, routers will have Ethernet connections and also serial connections. And if you want to connect two routers together uh, with their Ethernet ports. Again, we need to use a crossover cable. Hope this has helped uh, to better understand what a crossover cable is, how we create one, and how we implement it. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.